Good day, YouTube. Warbles on a lot here. When I first began this series using the CC Lee Falcon as an unmanned aerial camera platform, lofting the venerable Nokia 6120 classic mobile phone with a 2 megapixel camera, initially using the quote new red wing because it was lighter I thought it might do a better job of lifting the 3.14 ounce camera on the aeroplane that used to weigh one pound on takeoff but in its current form without the camera it weighs one pound 3.2 ounces due to the weight of araldite five minute epoxy and woven fiberglass cloth with clear duct tape over the top as a method of repair and because I'm used to repairing stuff when I think it was underground hobo left me a post suggesting it was going to be good as long as I had a good supply of propellers I didn't think too much about it because I knew I had a bag with a new one or two in it, so I thought. But sadly it turned out that although I remember buying a lot of propellers for CC Lee Falcons, back when you could get them, I used nearly all of them in an ongoing attempt to keep this B29 four-engine two-channel asymmetric control electric motor glider flying. What I actually had in my bag of Falcon propellers was one brand new yellow propeller and one repaired red propeller, which meant that when I recently crashed in such a way that I broke a propeller and couldn't retrieve the lost tip, I was forced to start flying with this propeller, which was repaired in around about 2006. Could have even been early, could have been 2003, but it was at a time when Falcon propellers were for, for a short time difficult to source. So this yellow propeller lost a blade and split the remaining attached blade, but I was able to uh, put it back together, so to speak. Basically, uh, first you drill the holes in the blade roots, then you use plastic cement to attach the blade. Once that dries, then you put six loops of nylon kite string type twine, and then you apply the clear epoxy, and then you sand it to balance. This one, as I said, split a blade tip which you might be able to see there so it's also acquired an epoxy skin over the top of the plastic cemented repaired split we'll see how long that lasts and here's the piece de resistance using the missing blade from there onto a yellow hub we now have a red and yellow composite repaired propeller. Meaning these are the last four flyable 108 millimeter diameter, 18.5 millimeter pitch pusher propellers anywhere on earth. So we discovered when my son went on eBay and tried to source some, and then he went on Google searching C.C. Lee Falcon and what he got was three movies put up by me starting with C.C. Lee Falcon major crash repairs. Now that's how we know that these are the last spare propellers in captivity ready to go when these ones die from impact on rocks and when these are gone I would have to admit there is a fairly strong possibility 
But we are going to see a CC Lee Falcon flying with quarter cut chainsaw milled yellow box propellers, either carved from a single plank or even laminated and then carved and of course the fallback plan if a wooden propeller is not able to power the cc lee falcon and it's not actually impossible for a hillbilly to revert to using aluminium so never fear when the weather calms down and the wind goes away warble drone falcon flights will resume and when we run out of plastic propellers something else will take their place warbles on a lot to youtube the last falcon on earth eh what a responsibility ciao